New at 5 o'clock, San Antonio organizations along with state lawmakers coming together to raise awareness on the alarming fentanyl crisis. This comes after last week's fentanyl overdose spike in Austin. Texas State Representative John Lujan, the Bear County Sheriff's Office and Bear County Angel Moms spent time this morning warning the community about fentanyl. They all emphasize that most of the time fentanyl is disguised as other drugs. That's how the majority of deaths happen. Those numbers are ticking up. All these people that are being poisoned, and a lot of times we use the word overdose. They're not overdosing. Mm -hmm. These people are poisoned. Bear County Angel Moms also wants to make sure people know Narcan is available for everyone and it's free. The organization Bear County Angel Moms is made up of parents and family members who have lost ones to fentanyl. As News 4 San Antonio Stephanie Esquivel reports tonight, these families say anyone can be impacted by fentanyl because it's often hidden in other substances. First thing I'm going to tell every parent is to wake up. I didn't think it would happen to me. It did. Nikki Goals knows firsthand how fentanyl can end someone's life way too soon. She lost her 21 year old son, Braden, in 2020 when he took a pill that he thought was someone else's prescription medication. It turns out the pill was laced with fentanyl. Even all of these good kids that came from a good home. Like I'm telling you, it's happening everywhere. It doesn't discriminate race, age, socioeconomic status, doesn't discriminate. It's an occurrence that is happening more and more often, according to Abigail Moore, CEO of San Antonio Council on Alcohol and Drug Awareness. Seven out of every 10 pills has enough fentanyl in it to kill them on our streets right now. Goals says she and her family will forever have to cope with Braden's loss, but they will also continue in the fight to raise awareness in hopes of saving lives. As my daughter says it perfectly, turning your pain into purpose, and um, really using this as a tool to move forward to help others. Moore says there are things the city of San Antonio could do to help facilitate outreach, such as tracking overdose deaths on an interactive map. We take um, strategies to that community right away and we create awareness. We're already doing it over the whole city, but if you know the spots, the hot spots, you're able to do a live um, intervention for that community right away. Texas State Representative John Lujan agrees that city and state leaders can work on providing more resources to keep people alive. We did allocate for some funding for the schools for Narcan and different places. Then we have all these organizations setting up. So yeah, on this next uh, this next legislative session, we will be doing more. So far, there have been no reports of a fentanyl overdose spike in San Antonio, similar to the one that happened in Austin. Law enforcement believes those fentanyl laced drugs were contained to the Austin area. In the newsroom, Stephanie Esquivel, News 4 San Antonio.